Hi guys, it's Danielle from Paper Milkshake for Sassy Scrappers today. And for some of you who do not follow me on Instagram, you may have missed the recent announcement that I have joined the Sassy Scrappers design team. And I have received my first um, kit, for the lack of a better word. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be creating in February for Sassy Scrappers. And it is the new Magical Forest collection from Crate Paper. It is a Maggie Holmes collection, actually. So I am really looking forward to show you guys what is in this collection. At least I think it's a Maggie Holmes collection. Am I mistaken? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's just say it's a Crate Paper collection for now. So this is brand new. It was new in store at Sassy, Sassy Scrappers just this week. And Olga, who runs Sassy Scrapper, being the efficient lady that she is, she, sh she just sent it off to me and I've received it just today. Now, I'm going to walk through every single little element to show you in more detail of everything. So what I have is the clothespin. I'm just going to show you an overview of what I have here. The puffy stickers. I have the ephemera pieces. I have the glossy thickers sided the alphas I purchased the or I received the cardstock stickers very very cute a whole bunch of loose papers because um, I don't think American Crafts has distributed the paper pads yet so I had to buy loose sheets I had to pick up some loose sheets and the beautiful chipboard stickers so let's go through everything one by one now this video is a detailed walkthrough as soon as I'm done creating my projects with this which I'm very excited about I will be on here um, on YouTube and showing you what I made as well okay so a closer look at the clothespin these are basically pegs wooden pegs with a wooden mount on it and they are very very dimensional with some very cute animal faces on them so these are about the size of an Australian 50 cent coin and I look forward to using these to embellish perhaps some little envelopes or for um, decorating tags as well you get a rabbit, a fox, a, another fox, <laughs> um, and a little teddy bear. Very cute clothespin. And then I have this one here, which is the um, puffy stickers. So these are very unusual because the puffy stickers have a border of like a copper finish. I don't know if you can see it, but it is very metallic. And there's lots and lots of elements in here. There are rainbows, hearts mushrooms which i think is very iconic for the magical forest collection and some lovely sentiments let's play always be brave just be you rise and shine i love using little puffy stickers to accent my projects really lovely and the color palette is very autumn okay so in australia we are actually coming around to autumn very very soon summer is almost over so this collection whilst it came from the us has actually arrived at a very good time for us there's a look at the ephemera pack i will take each piece out one by one so you can have a closer look um, and as usual with crepe paper you really get bang for your buck you get an assortment of ephemera pieces both small and large okay so this is my first time looking at it so let's see what's in there so we've got some just a little frame here got this beautiful autumn strawberry another little label got this beautiful very dainty like copper frame a little butterfly so cute not sure maybe that's a shooting star that's so unusual for crepe paper very cute got this gorgeous fox which I, I'm pretty sure will become one of my favorites love gingham in anything and this has a very very autumn color palette beautiful little rip apart sentiments adventure with me funny and smart the best kind of day little tag I love this this is where the fun stuff happens and it's on some like vintage lined paper like notepad paper, it's so cute. Never grow up. 
stunning. This one is stunning. It's like a photographic monochrome background. Love it. I love this piece. Oops. Always be brave. Mustard yellow number there. And some other little bits and pieces. So you've got a copper heart. Another little label, star. This reminds me very much of the Snowflake collection. Two plus eight, because that makes ten. <laughs> and look at that. Look how cute that is. A little froggy. And the ticket. Very autumn palette. Be very interesting to see how the Americans craft with it, because they are entering spring shortly. I love these large pieces. I can see already that I'm going to love these. So we have... Brave, so beautiful. Grow like a wildflower. Look at that yellow. How gorgeous. This is stunning. Look at that. Bright rainbows, endless sunshine, more kindness. <laughs> Brilliant. The number four. Another little tag beautiful pink like a powder pink library card this is very true happiness lives inside the smallest moments a little sentiment there oh this is beautiful also um this one reminds me of heritage world map love that love it i love all the different shapes and sizes in the ephemera pack adventure look how well they go together those two pieces oh gorgeous best kid ever <laughs> i love how childlike and whimsical this collection is i love all the rainbows in it i just adore crafting with rainbows Or like a wildflower. Oh wow. Teeny weeny tiny little butterflies and that piece there. So very 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 cute. That's all the ephemera pieces. There is a lot. There's 40 pieces in here. How beautiful. I believe 40 pieces is pretty standard for um, crepe paper but the fact that um, this ephemera pack seems to come with lots of different shapes, uh, both large and small. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I think crepe paper are getting better at doing. If you recall last year, 2019, or it may have even been 2018 actually, they, crepe paper came out with a La La Love collection. And I do love the collection, but I do get a little bit... Um, frustrated that there were a lot of sort of rectangular large pieces and not a lot of different and smaller shapes and sizes of different um like designs it was just square and rectangular and i find that really hard to craft with i much prefer to craft with round shapes or leaf shapes or different shapes and sizes just it's just a lot easier to layer with it guys but you know if you've got any um, ideas on how to craft with mostly angular shapes do let me know that's the beautiful oops I didn't put that into the poly bag very well that's the ephemera guys okay and on to the thickest so these have a beautiful matte finish and some of these have a glossy finish and look at the copper on that how gorgeous Crepe paper have been loving using copper accents. We saw it in Heritage and we saw it in Snowflake as well. So what I love about this is it's just full of statements and sentiments, which is what I love. I want a sticker pack that's just sentiments because I use them on nearly all my projects. I often feel a tag is incomplete until a statement is on it. So look at what you get on there. So beautiful. 
love that one oh my darling just the font on that is beautiful and as always they've included lots of smaller accents hearts and stars and whatnot I love this one it says one of a kind it's just hidden behind that warning label but I, I can see myself using that and oh look how 70s and hippie that is wildflower how gorgeous very much looking forward to crafting with that one now the alphas are probably a little bit um similar to what we saw with heritage so it's a thicker with some hand drawn uh, I guess writing over overlaid and it's a beautiful copper rose gold and you get a combination of uh, letters and numbers which is fantastic I, I love alphas that come with numbers as well and lots of sort of exclamation marks and whatnot now it's all in um, all caps it's all capitalized except for the I I'm not sure why that got an exception here but um, beautiful gorgeous stickers Here's the cardstock stickers. Of course, everything goes well with each other. It's all coordinated. Um, I, I just want to show you the beautiful girl and boy. Look how darling they are, the girl and the boy and the rainbow. It's a very childlike collection. It's perfect for any kind of memory keeping you want to do of your kids. Um, I unfortunately don't do a lot of it. I wish I did, but I just can't be bothered printing out photos all the time. <laughs> But I may do one scrapbook layout and see how I go with some of these leftovers. You get a gorgeous copper bunting there. Lots and lots of animals throughout. Look at that little truck. So cute. Oh my goodness, there's a kookaburra. Wow. Good on you, Crepe Paper, for putting a little Australian twist to this. All Crepe Paper collections have a camera, so there's that little camera there. Lots of mushrooms, crickets, little animals, big and small, perfect. That's what we want. Onto the chipboards now. And we have lots of mustards and muted pinks, powder pinks, mauve. Um, like, I, I find it hard to describe this color. I suppose it's a teal, but it's beautiful. You get two little houses down the bottom there. We've got a bear, we've got the little girl and the boy. I'm, I swear I have a doll that looks just like this girl. Well, not I do, but I bought one for Amelia. She's so cute. She looks like an Alan Rose doll, if you guys know or heard of Alan Rose. So cute. There's our, there's our camera again. I think I'm probably going to have to get a few more of these. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm loving it when crepe paper have a photographic background, whether it's black or white or a, like kind of like a a um, 70s lens to it and then they put a statement over it it's just gorgeous and I also love when crepe paper add these little sentiments one word sentiments I love you this much as well I love when they add little accents like that and this has definitely got some smaller pieces to it not your really really large ones like la la love beautiful guys stunning okay that's all the embellishments now i will show you the loose 12 by 12 papers that i purchased so we have this foil on vellum which is the specialty paper and i haven't yet decided whether i'm going to make some vellum pockets with this or whether i want to um Put this in a flip book i think i might might make some binder mail not sure yet but it's that beautiful copper foil again and i love that they've chosen the rainbow to be the repeating icon love it as always i have to buy the cut apart <laughs> there's some beautiful cut aparts here look at that gorgeous rainbow again lots of statements this beautiful paper pattern there also reminds me of uh, heritage mustard pink uh, sorry mustard and pink go so well together and on the back of that it's this sketched star pattern it's so beautiful 
maybe now that I've received this, I can add this to my color part challenge, which I'm running at the moment. I think I might have to do that. I think I might have to do a little color part challenge with Magical Forest. Why not? What could be more fun than playing with a new collection? This one is called Magical Forest Wildflower and it has this beautiful dainty floral on mustard background and the pink triangles on the back. Gorgeous. I definitely think that I'm leaning towards making some kind of binder mail with this. Magical Forest. Oh, look at that one. Look at that. So this one is a paper called Little. They're like little finger paints. So pretty. This one's one of my favorites. This one's called Childhood. There's the rainbow on one side and the wood grain on the other, but of course I'm going to be using the rainbow. Unbelievably beautiful. I love this. My daughter Amelia has a dress that looks pretty much exactly dead on like this. It's so pretty. This one is called Sunlight. And I wonder if I'm going to use this paper or whether I'm going to have to like fussy cut the rainbows and get like 20 cut parts out of that. <laughs> Again, that mustard yellow, so pretty. And then I bought, it's like two sheets. Yes, I bought two sheets of this because I just love the font on that. One I will use as pattern paper and I think the other one I'll actually cut out and use as statements. So this one is called Wishes. Pink with navy stars on the back. Just beautiful, just beautiful. And another cut apart, stunning, ABC. This one is called Willow. Love it. Just a really simple black and white hearts on the back. So that's my detailed walkthrough guys. Um, do stay tuned. In about a week or so I will be posting another video showing you what I have made um, with this new collection which I am so eager to play with and I will be making a project or several projects as part of Sassy Scrapper's design team. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope this walkthrough helps you determine whether the magical forest is for you or not. I'm going to insert a link below in the subscription bar to Sassy Scrapper's store. It is a beautiful Australian business, very fast shipping and always has a huge supply of great paper and Maggie Holmes goodies, even some of the older collections. So please do check out the shop and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye guys.